Hi, uh, this is Brendan, and welcome to my review of K Yuki by the company Square Enix. She comes from the CGI movie Space Pirate Captain Harlock. She's an action figure, however, she has limited posability. That's not too much of an issue because the box doesn't claim that it has 100% posability, so that is not a real uh, an issue. The real issues uh, come actually within her articulation, uh, which I'll show you right now. So the first main issue is with this kind of elbow tab here uh, that is very easily to fall off it's not really clipped on that well so if you want to move the elbow you actually hold on to the forearm to make it move the other issue is actually in the knees they, they are the most hardest articulation ever it almost feels like when you're trying to bend the knee it almost feels like it's just on the verge of breaking and then it just goes Chick! and they're kind of um, joint locked sock socketed joint locks so they aren't the ball and socket they've got actual kind of ridges where they um, lock into each other which gives it more stability and strength for the legs so you can actually pose it uh, like this but when you actually try and position it it almost feels like you're on the verge of absolutely uh, breaking it. Although she is missing a uh, waist uh, kind of movement, so her head moves. Uh, you can't see it, but she, it is on. It, I have moved it for for this pose. Uh, she also comes with two extra sets of hands, so two hands to hold the uh, guns which I've had and the other ones hold so you can have it on the uh, hip or the hair if you wish now she also does come with a uh, stand that's kind of built into the actual case I haven't ripped it out yet um, not going to I always like it if my Posable figures can stand on their own. Uh, kind of makes it uh, much more realistic, but it also limits um, the range of motion that they can do. Uh, the sculpting's not too bad, and the paint on the body and the clothes are pretty good. But I think the face could do with a little bit more of attention. Uh, but other than that, it's not too bad. I'll see if I can pose her in another pose. And this is <coughs> another pose that you can put her in. Um, to get the gun on her side, you have to remove a little kind of socket in. That's where these little, uh, right there, and you see that long extension. So that kind of goes into that kind of slot and holds the uh, gun into place uh, she can only holster one gun unfortunately uh, but she can hold the other gun in her other hand so as a figure she's not too bad although she does have a couple of articulation issues uh, which you most likely have to keep in mind in trying to move her but um, uh, I don't know, I, I liked what she was wearing in the uh, CGI movie and this is currently the only uh, figure that matches that movie so I guess you have to make up your mind if you want to purchase her or not Anyway, I'm going to straighten her around, straighten her up, and then finish off with some close-ups of her spinning round.